So this is the Kailas uh, uh, homepage. Once you log in into the Kailas, you will see this uh, dashboard of the Kailas. I think this echo from somewhere. Okay, then. Uh, so, in order to see your automation and workflow that has been created in the system, you have to first click on the CRM setting. And in the automation module, uh, there is a workflow. Okay. So, you can see now there are lots of uh, uh, workflows that I have created in order to uh, minimize the human intervention in the process of the sales, right? So, there are certain uh, workflows for the lead uh, uh, assignment or changing the pipeline or attaching the pipeline. That's how I have created. So uh, if you go to add workflow. And select one of the entity that are available here. You can see in the trigger reference there is immediate action and a delayed action. OK. So immediate action as the those uh, which you want to perform exactly on, on the time when the action happens. Let's say when the lead is created. So immediate the all the action that uh, you are going to uh, execute will be performed at the same time. OK, uh, same for the uh, updated action. So whenever you update uh, information of any entity or you change this pipeline stage, the action will be going to perform. But the delayed with the delayed action, let's say. You can uh, uh, let's say set up time as a dimension here to cater the uh, manual like immediate uh, execution of the actions, right? So I have uh, some scenarios in my mind to show you how we can uh, use this delayed action in order to uh, set the automation in the system. Okay. So let's say uh, you want to create a task for your uh, users. So like whenever the lead is created. And uh, the lead has stuck uh, in some pipeline like uh, in stuck stuck in some of the pipeline stage, let's say so far uh, and it's been there for more than two days, right? So you want to create a task for your users to. You know, get follow up for that lead. So what I will do. I will select a lead as an entity and first of all, I will select delayed action. OK. So I want to uh, check. The, I want to execute this action at the when the lead is created, right? So I have selected uh, as a trigger preference that is lead is created. OK. Now I want to check that if the lead is uh, stuck on a certain stage of the pipeline for more than two days. So I will first select a stage. Let's say pipeline. Stage. So this is the pipeline associated with the lead. OK, and let's say there is uh, there are some leads that are stuck in this pipeline. And I want to create a task for my users to uh, you know get a follow up for those leads which are stuck in this pipeline stage more than 2 days so what i will do i will select 2 days here i will select details and after created act i can Select a time as well in order to create the task. So let's say at the morning I want to create a task for my users. Okay. Uh, the second action is important because uh, you want to check whether this uh, leads that has been created in the system is uh, still stuck in this pipeline stage or not. So that's why you need to again mention the conditions here. Let's say pipeline stage equals to contact. And what you want to perform at that time? Let's say I want to create a task for my users. 
So I will create a task. see the workflow lead owner so if i select workflow lead owner it will be assigned to those uh, users who has created this workflow otherwise if i select workflow lead create created by us. so it will be assigned to those user who has created this lead and who is owning that ownership of that lead okay so i am selecting the workflow lead created by i'm saving this so uh, let's uh, take a look again. So how this is going to be executed? Like let's say there is there are some leads created. And some of the leads are stuck in the contacted pipeline stage, right? Uh, so I want to create a task for my user. Check that if the uh, leads uh, exist in the system, Available in available in the system still after two days of the created still stuck in the pipeline. So it will check at that time that pipe uh, lead leads are still in the pipeline. So create a task for my user. OK, so this is the one scenario that we can. Uh, automate with the help of delayed action. Uh, I have another scenario like uh, the escalation that is very important scenario that uh, many clients who want to know. Like let's say there are some leads. Uh, that and after creating the lead, I want to escalate uh, the issue with my manager or any superior of the uh, executives or users like OK, so I want to perform this for all the leads. Let's say I'm selecting all the leads. So whenever uh, the escalation will start, it will be performed for, for all the uh, leads. OK, so what will happen? So let's say lead is created and this is uh, check this workflow conditions for all the leads. Check after one week, let's say there are some leads stuck in the pipeline open. So check after one weeks if at what time let's say. Then I'm selecting a random time over here. And based on the execution condi ex executional conditions, check if the all the leads that are stuck still in the pipeline contacted after one week, then reassign to one of my manager or any uh, superior. So this is how the delayed action workflow can be uh, create. So you can see the so whenever the lead is created. OK, and this is applicable for all the leads. Huh? Check if check after one weeks of the created date of the lead. If they are still stuck in the contacted pipeline stage then after one week please reassign this uh, those leads to one of my another user or superior so this was the one example by, for which we can use the delayed action this third uh, scenario that i can cover is like uh, sending your data out of the kailas so uh, let's say you are using any external uh, application to manage your inventory, right? And you have uh, 10 or 15 days to check your uh, inventory and get an update from your. Get an update and requirement from your clients, like how much quantity they are uh, willing to buy for the products. OK, so what I will do, uh, let's say lead is already created and lead is in the process of uh, nurturing. OK. So what I will do, I will select when the lead is updated. Say, and I will check uh, for which product. 
the lead is interested for. So let's say there is one product networks. Okay. So I have 15 days. Let's say as a user, I want I have 15 days to check whether they are these products uh, will be uh, coming in the inventory or not. So what I will enter here, let's say 15 days. So and updated it. OK, so whenever lead is updated and I got to know that the lead is interested in this product. OK, so I have uh, 15 days to check whether the uh, products are in inventory or not. So let's say I have selected 15 days after updated ad. I have updated this uh, product and I want to send this data to my inventory application, ERP management application. OK. So I'm selecting a random time. Say 11:30 p.m. At the second stage, I will still uh, check whether these leads are interested in the product, same product or not. While the time of uh, execution, it will check whether the lead is still interested in this product or not. If this condition does not satisfy, let's say product has been changed and I don't want to send this data to my ERP. So this uh, condition will get nullified. Otherwise, it will check if this satisfy the condition, it will send the data to my ERP system. And let's say uh, I have selected Webo and in order to send the data to my ERP, there will be a Webo URL that I need to enter here. I am using a demo link here. What information I want to pass, let's say I want to pass lead. First name of lead. I want to pass in which uh, product he is interested in. Okay. So this is the demo information. I am just saving this. Okay. So whenever uh, I will update a lead and this lead is interested in these products and services, after five days, I will check. I will send this uh, leads interest to my ERP through Webo, and that's how I can uh, schedule a job for the uh, for passing the information to uh, outside the Kailas. It can uh, it can be done via uh, Webo or API anything, but that's how you can do with the help of delayed action here. Uh, another uh, scenario that uh, I can cover is that uh, reapproaching your leads. Okay, so let's say uh, there are leads, uh, there were leads in the pipeline, and your executives failed to uh, nurture that lead or convert that lead into contacts, right? You want to move after week or three weeks, you want to again move those leads into uh, another pipeline, let's say. So what I will do? I will select when lead is updated, let's say. OK, we'll check if pipeline stage is. Unqualified, let's say. So one of my executive has marked close unqualified or unqualified for that. Uh, users. So I want to check after three weeks or four weeks or a year, let's say. Year of updated at. You can enter uh, any time. Let's keep it six for now. 
you will check whether they this uh, this action should be performed for all leads or only on a base of two conditions. So let's take a uh, let's consider that I want to perform this action for all the leads. So whenever my executives are marking the leads as close and qualified, check after three or four weeks at updated at. And I want to move those unqualified leads into another pipeline. So let's say selecting a pipeline. Another pipeline that is contact and you can select any of the any one of the stage that you want. So whenever I, my executives or user updating the pipeline for a leads and up, uh, marking them as a close unqualified. What it will do it after four weeks, the updated at. For all the leads, it will change the pipeline and move uh, those leads, those unqualified leads in another pipeline. So my un, uh, another executive can get back to them and uh, take them in sales process. Again. There's another scenario where uh, like Let's say your users want some uh, reminders on a mail. Before the before you uh, have you are having uh, closure date ahead, right? So. If you select a D, let's say. And if you select the dead action. OK. I will select when deal is created. And all leads. I want this uh, email notification for my users for all the leads. OK. So, and I want these notifications before two days, let's say. So I select two days. Before. The estimated closure of the deal. OK. At what time I want this uh, email to be triggered? Let's say 10. 9 a.m. Let's say. And for all the leads, uh, my user should get the email notification. OK. In the uh, actions section, I will select send mail. You click on the send mail. Uh, to whom I want to send this email, let's say record owner. Who is the who will be the record owner and owning those leads or deals should get the notification on the mail that uh, the closure date of this deal ahead. OK, so I have created one uh, template email template like you have closure of this deal name and this will uh, I have used these variables to replace the uh, replace by original uh, deal name. OK, so you have closure of this uh, deal name and when this created at please take a follow. Saving this. So whenever my uh, estimated closure date will be ahead, uh, it will send my uh, send the record owner two days before a mail that the, you you are having a closure date ahead and please get a follow. So there are n number of uh, use case that we can fit with the help of delayed action. I have just covered a uh, few of them, but uh, you can discover more use cases that you are cause they differ from every uh, organization to organization.